everyone welcome to my channel <laughs> can't believe i just said that it's taken me about twenty thousand attempts to even just say hello to my welcome to my channel because i'm so awkward why have i forgotten how to do my makeup um no one judge me because i have a soap holder look at Ugh, that stinks i literally laminated my brows not long ago like in lockdown i bought like the lamination kit that everyone was like raving about and i recommend but it's not like um it's not a great thing to keep up with because my eyebrows are literally crispy as hell and they're falling out and just just not a look just not a look at all like i literally have gaps in my eyebrows my eyebrows usually so full but now they're like crunchy and bald and crispy and not cute, not cute at all. Oh, I've literally got to do my makeup. I'm just going to put everything out of my bed because I'm literally staring at things like I literally don't even know what to do. And how many times do I want to say literally? I don't know. I'm going with um, the glow. I'm not even going to say it. Cherry, cherry, cherry. I don't know. I'm going with that. A little bit on the cheeks. I asked if, um, a question on Instagram, but like just to ask me some questions and everything. So. I'll answer a few of them now. Someone said, how do you keep your hair so shiny? It's not. <laughs> I work in a hairdresser, so like, I can get treatments. Like if my hair's feeling a bit crunch. I just use like serums, like heat protector. My hair used to be so, so damaged. Like, so damaged. I used to like literally straighten my hair every day. Like, and I have naturally curly hair, so. It was just a bit, a bit not good for my hair. I'm not doing like a lot of makeup because I'm hot. And I quite frankly can't be bothered to do a full face of makeup. So I'm just going to do like the everyday. How much better do people feel with eyelash extensions? Like I literally am a different person with eyelash extensions. Like I can't even cope <laughs> with that. And I don't know how many times I want to actually say eyelash extensions, but I do remember not to pull that up. KK said dogs or cats. <laughs> not cats because I'm allergic and dogs scare the fuck of me, so I pick you. Where's your fa favourite place to shop? Um, 100% Pretty Little Thing. Like, Pretty Little Thing take my money every single month and it's actually it's slightly an issue but can't really help that can we the minute i get paid i'm literally on there ordering crap that i don't need but that's fine because half of it ends up getting sent back anyway because i think i look like the model and then suddenly i don't <laughs> so that's great yeah definitely pretty little thing and oh my god don't even talk to me about zara they have been so good lately. Like, I used to go in there, like, like whenever I went to London or, like, somewhere that had a Zara, I used to, like, go in and think, literally like a mum shop, like, what are these floral pieces? But they've literally been so good. I think in the summer they just started to up their game and they're just really good now. Where else do I shop? Primark. Classic. I never find anything that I want in Primark. Like, I go in and I was expecting it to be, like, so good. You know when you don't go in for, like, like a few weeks and you you go with high hopes i went with high hopes and i came up with empty bags because i literally couldn't find anything whenever it's like towards the end of the month like when everyone's like waiting to get paid i feel like i always find the best bits and like i'm just constantly transferring for my savings but as soon as i get paid and like actually go in wanting to spend money i can't find anything I literally ordered a Greg's to my house earlier. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that Greg's is now on Just Eat because it's a slight problem. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend literally had it like five days in a row last week, all for breakfast because we're literally addicted. And I, how long have you been with your boyfriend? Me and Ryan have been together like just over a year and a half where is my oh my god i hate 
I hate a dry beauty blender. I hate it. Do you hear that? It's just painful. But I cannot be bothered to get up and wet it. So this is have to gonna have to do. I'm gonna go in with the My Perfect Color Foundation and Contour Stick from Primark in the shade Chai. If you want to start out with cream contour, this, this is the thing to do because it is literally just so good. So, and because it's foundation, it literally blends so well. Hide my double chin. Let's not talk about the lockdown lockdown weight. Hey, started back at the gym. So this is gonna go. I literally say this like I'm I go to the gym. Well, I do go to the gym, but I literally go in there, get scared of everyone staring at me, and then leave. So I think me and my double chin are gonna have to sort out at home because I got anxiety. Um, someone said. What's my favourite TV show? Well, I don't really watch TV as much. It's more on like YouTube and like um, Netflix and stuff. A series and stuff. I'd say, oh my God, 100% Prison Break. If you have not watched Prison Break, you need to watch Prison Break. And I'm going to keep saying Prison Break until you watch it. It is so good. It's, I think that's the best. Oh, am I going to say this? The best series I think I've ever watched. It's so addictive. Me and my boyfriend literally watched, like, I think there's five or six series. We literally watched them all within a week of lockdown. But, like, other classics, like, Pretty Little Liars. Can't go wrong with Pretty Little Liars. I hate, like, watching new series because it's just so much effort. Like, that sounds so lazy and so stupid. I find it hard to, like, I'm pretty thick. And I can't figure out what's going on sometimes. And then I just get lost and bored and I just have the attention span of a little three-year-old. So, like, I could literally re-watch Prison Break, Pretty Little Lies. I've, I've actually watched Pretty Little Lies about 12 times. And I'm still not sick of it because you just give it a couple months and then re-watch and then you've got a new series. But... I know what's going on so I don't have to pay like full attention because I already know what happens. That's, I know that sounds so stupid but I hope someone knows what I mean because I can't be the only, the only one with an attention span of a free roll, can I? And you've got an itch and you can't get it. Just going with the stay matte translucent powder just dab over my sweaty face someone else said who are your favorite youtubers i don't know about sophia and chintzia you need to i love them i love them um who else madison sarah oh my god hi can i be you thanks um aisha and zelia brush them on and be there who else is there i literally live on youtube because i have no no life. So I literally just spend all my time on YouTube. So if you have any new suggestions of YouTubers that are good, let me know. I'm just gonna go with Lisa Peach. My friends take the mick out of me for wearing blush, but they say I'm a mum. Here you go, morning, Casey. Why have I literally got my whole makeup routine? Why am I literally sweating? Brows, 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 brows. I bought this the other day, actually. The um. NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. I love it. And then I just literally go through and fill in the gaps. <sighs> I'm literally gonna have to redo things 20,000 times because when I concentrate, my mouth just opens <laughs> and I can't stop it. <laughs> I literally be Oh my god, I feel like people are going to get annoyed at how much I say literally. On all the IGTVs I film on Instagram, I literally have to crop out so much because half of it is literally me sat there with my mouth wide open. 
when I'm concentrated, my mouth literally just goes. <laughs> and it's not attractive. So if you see my mouth open, mind your business. Does anyone else have like a better brow? Like this one's my favourite brow. This one just, you don't like me sometimes. I'm going to look back at this while editing it and I'm literally going to be like, what the hell are you doing? It's okay. Because it's just the first video. I'll get better. It's fine. No worries. And then I just take just like a little brush. This one's from Amazon. And, and it's just got a bit of bronzer in it. And I just dip it in my bronzer as well. Oh my... F Am I literally okay? I haven't even put powder bronzer on. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm taking a MAC Give Me Sun bronzer, which I should have taken earlier, but that's okay. And then just literally, I put it all over my face because why not? Why do I think I'm done? Why do I think I'm missing something? My crusty dusty lips, that's what I'm missing. I don't really like wearing lipstick on a daily because it always just disintegrates. I'm taking this. I have no idea where I got this, what shade it is, or even the brand. But I'm gonna take this and I, need to find myself a pencil sharpener because this is like scraping a bit of brick along your face oh, if only my mum does anyone else like, get freaked out when they hear something when they're home alone And then I just go in with a bit of NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie. Let's get a little bit in a sweating bucket. These ring lights, they don't half get you sweating. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Just a little, not so much a makeup routine, just get ready. Like, answering your questions. Um, thank you everyone for watching. If there's any like specific videos you want to see next then just comment down below all my social media will be linked down below i am so awkward the start the intro and the ending my worst nightmare so yeah see you next week <gasps> anyway bye